Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today is day nine, get my fingers out there, I'm going to run out of fingers soon, of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas, and today's project is a shaker card, and I've done a couple of shaker cards in the past, this is pretty much a very familiar tutorial for me to do, but I thought it would be kind of fun to show you different ideas to how to put it together, and I'll tell you some ideas that I'm not going to show you, but I'll tell you, okay? All right, so we're going to make a shaker card using one of the button cards from Calico Collage, and I have examples that I'll show you at the end of others that I made from the same digital download. This is approximately three by four inches in size, but it can be any size really. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a tray, if you will, around here to hold the embellishments that we want to have in our shaker card. And what I've got is some double-sided foam mounting tape. It's a quarter of an inch in thickness. And if you don't have this, can't find this, can't afford to buy this, here's an idea. You could get some chipboard. So this is chipboard. It's not as thick, but you could cut it into quarter inch strips, stack them one on top of the other until you get the height that you need. That's an idea that I wanted to share with you. You could also use corrugated uh, cardboard as well. Again, cutting it into strips. It's a little bit harder to do, but you can do it. And then thirdly, you could use uh, fun foam as well. You can cut this into thin strips and glue it together to get, be able to make your tray for your embellishments. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I've got this double-sided foam mounting tape, and what I'm going to do is grab a strip of it. It is very sticky, so you have to take your time. You can't be in a rush because it will stick to itself and become a big mess. Ask me how I know. <laughs> and I'm going to go on here and lay this down from one end to the other, and then I will trim off the excess. So while I'm doing this, if you haven't already checked out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, this is the group that is hosting the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas and we're you know thought it'd be kind of fun to share with everybody so do check out that group and of course check the description box to the other videos of the participants in this or uh, challenge I guess I want to say that we're having all right so I've got two sides three sides so I'm going to go in here and fill this in and what I do is I just line it up on here and go across and because I haven't removed the backer of here it won't really stick but I can take my scissors and just snip really close and then that'll pop right down into that slot does that make sense all right so I'm going to press this down really well to make sure it's adhered and then I'm going to lift all the papers and we're going to go around again. I'm going to do this three times because I'm putting buttons in my shaker card. And if I only had one or two layers, my bucket buttons weren't uh, sliding. They were sticking. So I want them to really slide. All right. So I'm going to overlap in a different direction where I'm going to begin. So they kind of cover up those corners, if you will. I'm just going to go around one more time, and then I'll do it a third time. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, and my tray is quite thick now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the Perfect Crafting Pouch. It is a powder in this pouch, and the reason why I'm going to use it is to help with things sticking to where maybe they didn't quite nest right on top of each other. So I'm just going to kind of pounce this inside that little tray a little bit all the way around. And then I'll use my finger to kind of rub that powder into the sides. And hopefully that'll help. It may not prevent 100%, but it'll help with items sticking to the sides. If you ever had a shaker card, you can't shake it because all the stuff is stuck to the sides. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting that on there and then I'm just rubbing it with my fingers. 
I'll tap off any excess. You can see there's a little bit of powder there. I'll just wipe this away so it's not in the way. Okay, and so now we're gonna fill our shaker card. Mine is made with cardstock on the back. If you want yours thicker, you could put a piece of chipboard on there, but this pretty much is sturdy, especially when you build the little frame on here. So here's what I've got. I've got some tea tiny little beads. These are those tiny, tiny seed beads and bugle beads. This was a kit that I picked up a while ago and I need to use it up. There's also some holeless little round beads in there. You can use glitter, but I will caution you that sometimes if you use too much glitter, the static electricity that builds up in your little shaker card could cause it to stick and it doesn't, you, you can't see it very well. So you can use the perfect paper pouch, the perfect crafting pouch on your transparency and inside your tray and that'll kind of help with the static electricity. Next, I've got these little star confetti. Years ago, I used to make a ton of confetti fling cards. Uh, they were annoying to send to somebody because they didn't know they were getting one. And when you open the card, it would have a little thing inside that would poof out and fling glitter and confetti everywhere. <laughs> We had a group of people that would send them to each other on purpose. We usually knew they were coming. <laughs> then I've got some heart confetti here. These are really small. They're like under a quarter of an inch in size. But you can use different sizes. You can use sequins. You can use beads. And then I'm going to show you we're also going to use some buttons. So I've got a few buttons here. I just picked a few that I thought had some interest to them. And again, weren't too tall to go in my tray. So I've got all of my goodies in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have got a transparency piece of film here and it may have some fingerprints on it. So what I have found, I'm gonna move this other way. So if I take my shirt and gently rub on both sides and then by the edge, flip it over and clean it up just a little bit, it kind of prevents those fingerprints. So I've done that. All right, and I'm just gonna lay it here to the side for a moment, and then I'm gonna lift up all of these sticky areas. Now what you can do is if you'll start lifting them and fold them back out of the way, you can remove them as you place the transparency film on top. So I'm just trying to get it to where they're somewhat out of the way. Okay, so I've kind of got those started. I don't wanna peel them all the way up because in the past when I've done that, I've had tendency to have things stick before I wanted them to stick. So I'm kind of lining this up here. I'm using the edges that aren't exposed to kind of help me line it up. And then I'm gonna place this down and then pull out that one. Place this one down and pull out that one. Place this down and pull out that one. And pull out that one. Don't worry if it sticks out past your tray, if the uh, transparency is a little bit too big. Your main concern is to make sure that there's a good adhesion on the insides. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub this around the outside, make sure it's all put together. There's not any excess really sticking out. There might be a little bit right here on this transparency on the corner, so I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. Next, what I'm going to do is use some washi tape. So this is a great way to use up that washi tape. I'm going to start on the ends or top and bottom, and I'm not pulling it really tight. I'm just pulling it off the roll enough and then trying to keep it steady. And I'm lining it up with the bottom, and then I'll trim it even with the side. Now, if your um, tape has a tendency to not stick very well, you can use glue here. I'm going to use my advanced tape glider. This is a big tape gun machine that you reload with adhesive and I find that it's really handy for this so I'm just going to run it right across that washi tape. This washi tape doesn't stick every time so that's why I'm using the adhesive and I'm just wrapping it around from the front to the back. I'm going to repeat that on this side. I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. We're almost done. We've just got a few more days left, but I hope you're enjoying it and you had a lot of fun that you're inspired to create. 
do check out the Friendly Junk Journal people, and if you create a project, share with us. Say, hey, I watched day whatever by so-and-so of the 12 Days of Junk Journal gift, and I was inspired to create, and then show us what you create. We'd love to see it. So I'm doing the sides now. It's going to make it a nice, neat back. All right, so now I've got that wrapped all the way around. I'm kind of kind of cool shaker card here so, so far. I've got this little word. These are the white words on black, inspirational, and I've got them just white words on black. And I'm going to use the ATG gun to put adhesive on the back. And the reason being is because Aline's Tacky Glue doesn't really stick that well to transparency film, and I don't want to wait on a glue to dry, so I'm just going to use the adhesive. And I think we're going to put it right here at the bottom like so and there's my shaker card just quick and easy that's what i think anyway uh, lots of fun lots of goodies in here some of the others that i made there's another one i made there's another one so you can use you know things that you can get into your tray so to speak flat items beads buttons that kind of stuff to make your own version of these little shaker cards. Well, I hope you like that. You could bundle a couple of them together, wrap a bow around them and give those to a friend, send them as a greeting card to them, something like that, just entertaining. But anyhow, I hope you liked it. I hope you are inspired to create. Check the description box below for the products that I use from Calico Collage and my words. And of course, also the others that are participating in the 12 Days of Junk Journal gift ideas. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.